Mountain lion captured. It was prowling around in backyards in a Simi Valley neighborhood this morning. It was a wild scene that played out very early this morning on Broadmoor Avenue. That's about five miles from where another mountain lion killed a dog last week and attacked another one. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live in the neighborhood with details. Tina. Good morning. This neighborhood is close to the 118 freeway, a bit of a distance from the mountains. So people who live here never expected to see a wild animal like this. They're now worried that it's not the only one. I woke up early in the morning. I heard noises and see flashlights. I'm thinking like I got to call the cops and it is the cops already out there. Rick Robledo says it was a shock to see fish and wildlife officers in his backyard early this morning. They had been following a mountain lion that had been spotted by a neighbor as it was feasting on a raccoon. I guess they had tranquilized it, but it still gotten up and started running through our backyard and it was it was mad. <laughs> I saw a mountain lion jumping through our backyard and it was like jumping through our bikes and jumping into it and bonking them down. 10 year old Jared and his brothers didn't seem phased by the animal, but their parents say it was alarming to see the 100 pound creature in a place where the boys are constantly playing. It, it looked really big. I mean, like it would have definitely taken down an adult. The Robledos were relieved when Fish and Wildlife officers took the animal away to be released back into the wild far from people. But they were disappointed when they learned that the cat was not the same one spotted in a northeast Simi Valley neighborhood last week. That mountain lion, which attacked two dogs, killing one, had been an older female with a tracking collar around its neck. Unfortunately, the collar is not working, so officers don't know where that animal is. That makes the Robletos nervous about letting their kids in the backyard. It's hard to know how to navigate that because you want to let your children have freedom and to play, but yet you have to be really close. They wanted a pet, but not that kind of pet. No, not that kind of pet. Fish and Wildlife is now working with the Park Service to collar the animal that was caught today and make sure it's released in the right location. They don't know why there seem to be more mountain lion sightings now, but they say that the animals are looking for food, and so people need to be cautious.